In this AutoCAD tutorial, I want to cover how you can use extrude or loft for a surface. In the past, I've talked about it in terms of solids. Uh, to illustrate that, I'm just going to go to the Home tab into the Drawing section and just grab a spline. I'm just going to make myself you know, a simple wiggly line. So I'm going to grab the spline tool, and I'm in my top view here, and I'm just going to start drawing a smooth curvy line. I can pan over. Get something like that and end it. I can zoom out. And once you have these, you can actually click on them, you know, and do some basic edits. They're real, they're real easy to edit and just kind of get that into a shape that you like. All right, so once we have that, we can see in the isometric view that it's laying flat on the ground and sort of wiggling. What I'm actually going to do is make a copy of that and just put a copy off to the side. Okay, so now we have two of them. All right, so um, with the first one, what I'd like to illustrate is that um, you can use extrude to make surfaces out of basic lines, whether it's a spline, um, a non-closed polyline, a regular line, uh, whatever. So in my isometric view, I'm just gonna come in and um, use extrude. So I'm actually gonna switch from the home tab to the surface tab on the ribbon, even though the extrude function will work the same. If I grab extrude, select the spline, enter, see when I bring it up, I'm actually making a surface. So, you know, maybe I'll bring that up about that tall. And if I orbit around, you'll see that I did in fact make a surface there. If I were to change that to maybe conceptual, you'll see that um, it's sort of like maybe a corrugated metal or something like that. So it's going to be the same all the way up. So there's no wiggling or variation. Um, it's following that line and it puts a straight line on each edge like that. Okay, so that's using extrude. It's going to change those back. Now, uh, we can also use something like loft, um, just as we did to make a solid. So I'm just going to come over to my copied spline and talk about that briefly. So if I wanted some variation going up vertically instead of keeping the same basic profile, loft would be a good option. What I'm going to do is actually create a second spline um, that I can uh, loft to. There's different ways to go about doing this, but what I, I think I'm going to do right now to keep it simple is just turn off object snap and object snap tracking and just go to my home tab, grab spline, and draw right on top of this one. Okay, so I turned off object snap because I don't want to actually, you know, be snapping to this line. And then I'm going to come in and just draw another wiggly line hit enter and then we can see it over here on the side and now I could just turn on my ortho and my object snap and just use a simple move to select that new line and move it straight up so I'm moving it up maybe you know five six feet okay once I have the two splines one on top of the other what I can do now is come in and grab loft and I'm going to select the cross sections in order. I only have two, so I can just do one, two, enter to accept the loft and enter again to keep it without making any changes. Now that I have it, you can see above and in the 3D view that I have vertical variation. It's not like that corrugated metal that's all the, you know, straight all the way up, uh, but it actually changes. So I'm going to change this from 2D to conceptual so I can see it. And now if I spin around, you'll see that I actually have vertical variation as well. So if I, you know, back up and, you know, maybe even I'll move this other one a little bit closer you can see how different they really are. So this one is using extrude 
it's keeping the same shape all the way up and this is loft and it adds uh, some variation so it's two different looks um, and two different ways of going about it